so now we are in the stage that we can start to fit the main uh, parts together. So the fuselage is done. We are happy how it uh, uh, looks. Uh, no seam lines, so it's ready to to be connected to the to the wings. Uh, the wings are glued before. So now it's just. It's just uh, gluing these parts uh, together. Uh, for now, I, I can see that the fit is not uh, perfect. Here, the the gluing line is uh, quite nice. It's mm, it's quite smooth. But here we can see some some small uh, gap. I think just a bit of thunder and it should be should be fine. I always dry fit the, the parts before I use the, the glue because now you can check it, you can <coughs> make some small uh, sanding uh, jobs or some small corrections here, but after you glue the, the parts together, the only way that you can um, make the joining uh, lines looking better it's uh, by using the uh, the filler so and it's time consuming and it's uh, not uh, it, it doesn't go guarantee you the the good uh, uh, final uh, result so i still have some minor um, gap here so i think I just need to sand this here in this this place. Okay. Dry fit again. And now it's fine. So from the top it's it's fine. The, the, the top side is the, the most important one, uh, but you can always check the downside. We have some small gap here, but I think it's not really a big problem. <clears throat> we can manage it uh, later. The most important thing is that the, the top one is looking quite, uh, quite good and, uh, and nice. So, I can glue it together using my favorite glue, so Tamiya Extra Thin. I just touch the surface in few uh, points and the glue is just run down the joining line. And for <coughs> first I glue the one side of the, of the wing. I give a few seconds or a few minutes if necessary to uh, to allow the, the glue grip the, the plastic parts together uh, and then I can safely start gluing the other side. It maybe takes a bit long longer uh, than gluing all together but uh, for me it provides better uh, finish uh, effect. Okay, so the one side is a bit uh, drier, then we can apply the glue on the other side. And like I say in the um, first, uh, before parts, uh, I start with small amount of glue and then I will come back and put uh, much much more so in doing this in this way you can uh, always uh, move a bit the, the part if the angle of the uh, wings will be wrong or uh, not straight you can uh, make some small changes
and it's always good to check the the angle how the wings join the fuselage it's looking really good so I can put some glue on the front Okay. And here we have some small gap, uh, that's why I will use the white top uh, Tamiya glue, the, the more resin one, so it's it's gonna glue the, the parts together and as well it's gonna uh, fill a, a gap here. So later you will have less feeling uh, and um, sanding job to do. So now um, I apply the first layer of uh, glue. I can leave it for a couple of minutes, maybe a, an hour. Uh, and then I will come back with another uh, portion of uh, glue okay while the um, uh, model is uh, drying we can start to uh, putting uh, another part together so we have engine parts and the fuel tank here just sandwich them together The Tamiya plastic is uh, very good <coughs> quality, so the glue is blowing it really, really easy. So it's just quick and fast way to glue the parts together. A bit of cleaning. I like to use the fine one because uh, it sand this soft plastic quite fast and it doesn't make a big scratch on, on the surface so <clears throat> even the bigger uh, molding ejections I like to clean with the cut first and then clean with the fine uh, something stick okay so the engine parts are ready so we can start to glue them together for this you can use the another glue just put some small amount inside the, the part and then sandwich the parts together this one I will leave for um, later because I want to paint it separately in different color than the, the engine. So I can just using some blue tack. We can we have uh, many products on the market that will uh, do this job. It's the blue tack. It's for uh, modeling purpose uh, product. So you can buy it in hobby shop or um, internet and it's a uh, very good product to make a lot of uh, interesting things and uh, very helpful uh, for now I just put it on some stick like that and you can put for painting you can put the, the parts on it and easy it's, uh, easy to, to hold it uh, to ma maneuver it uh, during the painting so it's, uh, I think, good uh, 
way of uh, doing this and you can all, all also uh, buy a white tack the white tack doesn't leave the oil um, marks on the on the surface uh, on the paint uh, you can buy the white tack which is uh, make special for uh, model uh, world uh, but to be honest it's regular uh, blue uh, it's regular white tack that you can buy in uh, many stores for handing your pictures on the wall and and so it's uh, some kind of um, office uh, shop you can you can buy it and it's much much cheaper and do exactly the same uh, job like the special one uh, for models <coughs> okay so we can continue with the building the engine the engine will be covered by um, the, the parts of the of the nose of the uh, zero uh, but i like to show you later how can you uh, edit some more details and and depth into the um, into the such a small uh, engine part No, I think I make a mistake. So this part is going here. This part is going here. Okay. And this part is going like that. Okay, so I come back from and I the the instructions say that the, you shouldn't glue this. I don't really care about this because you can always uh, later you just putting the hub without glue is doing the same uh, the same job. So the, your spinner can uh, spin for honest. I don't know. It's not flying model, so it's, it it ha it doesn't have to uh, spin. But even if you put with some glue, like I make a mistake now, uh, just for a couple of minutes, just turn the the part a bit here, and the glue doesn't uh, stuck it inside. It's just the glue is gluing the these parts. Uh, but not the axle. Okay, and I can apply another layer of of glue. Now I put plenty of glue to to soft the the wider uh, the wider part of the of the plastic so the gap should disappear in this doing this this way and uh, the join will be stronger i think this link is a bit too too low so you can Move it a bit like that. <clears throat> you can use some rubber band to 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 help the the wings go uh, up. The 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 glue is uh, quite soft now, still. So you can move uh, the parts, and by uh, applying this some some uh, force, some pressure to to put the end of the wings up. You can control and correct the join line here. And like you see, the, the plastic was melted already. So when I push it, it starts to bubble up. Uh, but 
it's just one more pass of the of the glue and the, the bubbles the plastic bubbles will melt again and they will disappear okay so the the gluing job is is done now we need to leave this for 12 or 24 hours and then we will come back to the model and check the the joint lines uh, check the seam lines and see if we need some uh, filler here now we can work on some smaller parts like engine and propeller uh, I'm gonna uh, paint it in flat aluminium color and after drying the, the paint, when the paint will be dry, I will apply some enamel wash to make the engine look more real, more uh, I will apply using the, the, the wash uh, shadows here uh, so the engine will look like it was using in real air, aircraft and the propeller will be aluminium color as well So we can paint it now when we have the right, correct color in in the airbrush. Okay, so now. I will let these parts to, to dry for a couple of hours and uh, then we can uh, apply uh, enamel wash on, on it. Okay, so our engine is dry and now we can apply a bit of wash. I use enamel wash. <coughs> I didn't protect the surface with uh, any uh, varnish so it's just pure acrylic paint and I apply enamel wash straight on it The wash looks very dark now, but believe me, in a few minutes it's gonna be much, much lighter. And of course, like we uh, done with the cockpit before, you can remove a bit of the wash if you think it's too dark or you don't look like uh, such a uh, worn look of your of your engine like you see the engines begin to look really, really nice Okay, during the <coughs> drying process of the engine, you can check the uh, fuselage. I check already one side and it looks very, very nice. I just need a bit of uh, sanding job here to make it level and uh, smooth. Uh, I apply a black uh, paint uh, with airbrush to check the, the, the connection joint uh, and uh, now I can remove it with, with the sander like we've done before with the fuselage here 
and check what is going here. I start right before I start with the medium one. And I remove the black paint. So we have some small bumps here, bumps of, of glue, but I think just a bit more sanding and it's they will disappear, I think, and it's gonna be looking nice. Okay. A bit more here in this in this section. And now the fine sanding stick to finish the job. It's okay now. And I remove a bit uh, uh, panel lines here so I can put them back using the scraper and some template. Just put the Tape and okay, and the second one. And here we can do it freehand. Just deeper the existing panel line. Okay. So the con the wings and fuselage joints are done now. Now it's start. Uh, it's a uh, time to start working with the corner piece. Uh, we will do it, you can choose two ways of doing it, you can uh, uh, glue the, the close one canopy uh, and you can also do the uh, open uh, canopy. We will do the, the open one, it looks more interesting, we put some, uh, some work uh, inside the, the cockpit so uh, it's better to make it uh, in open po position. Uh, for the viewers to see a bit uh, more inside. Uh, of course, you can buy some uh, ready mask for masking your canopy, uh, but to be honest, I like to do it uh, myself. It's uh, for me, it's easier, quicker, and uh, I'm always sure that the mask is uh, fitting correctly because sometimes the pre made mask they, they like to stretch they lose the, the angles and sometimes they doesn't fit uh, mm, at all on your part so i when you when you cut the canopy parts from the sprue always uh, you must be always very very careful because uh, if you cut too close if you cut too close to the mm, part you can make some scratches here so always leave a bit of molding and cut it uh, f farther from the from the part and now the pressure is less on the on the part 
uh, and you can try to just to cut it a bit closer and for the final stage you need to use the, the sander uh, so I use find one and slowly I start to sand the the molding point it's good to check during the sanding what's happening with the part so slowly without any pressure so now it's it's okay so I do the second part Okay, so this part is quite good uh, quality, so I don't need to polish it. And now I just simply will mask this uh, using Tamiya masking tape. I think they are, they are the best for uh, this job. Uh, so I use, I think, uh, 10 mil and uh, 6 mil uh, masking tapes. And for such a small window, it's just uh, enough. So, a bit of tape. I check one, one line to take, to put the, the masking tape on the canopy. Then I take some toothpick to draw the the window on the masking tape just for some kind of small small guide for the for the night a uh, knife and now just simply taking the knife cut it the knife must be very very sharp and I don't use any pressure I just put the knife on the on the uh, masking tape and cut it without using pressure it's good tip to use uh, some kind of mobile phone with the with the light from from downside so you can see the the window spruce better and then it's easier to control your knife and cut it in the right position I'm using the light from the mobile phone to make the job easier and on the on the light you can see the the shadows of the of the um, windows uh, frames so it's easier to to find them and easier to follow them using knife and in this case, case in this kit, the the canopy molding are very very uh, shallow, so it's really difficult to find the the windows frames to to mask the the canopy windows.
Okay. Okay, so one is completely done. And it took me maybe five minutes, so it's not really um, time consuming. If you know how to do it and you feel quite uh, comfortable with, with this, uh, comfortable with this, uh, then it's, I think, quite nice way of masking your um, canopies.